Aquarius and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 31st guys really the first week of September these energies are so intense and so transformative I'm really hoping everyone is harnessing them with conscious awareness now this is for Aquarius Sun Moon or rising so check all three and if you're not, they're all important guys check all of them and if you're not sure which one you are there's a free calculator down below all right Aquarius let's jump right into it and let's see what this week has in store for you motorcycle in the background. And a theme for the week. Okay. Woo! This is good. The Empress, the Wheel, Two of Coins, the Moon, the Lovers, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the theme is the Four of Swords. Aquarius, this is wonderful. This week, you guys are going to feel so inspired to create, to really put in the energy of your own personal energy, your own time, your own money, in, in birthing the life that you want. Now, when we start out with the Empress, going to give a heads up. There are, this is, usually tends to be or herald pregnancies. So, so some of you Aquarians understand, congratulations. <laughs> or if you really are trying to have a child, this is a really good week to do so. But the Empress is about birthing reality. She doesn't wait for things to fall on her lap. She doesn't just manifest for things to line up. She gets things moving, much like the Emperor who just takes charge. She births new reality. She she uses her, her finances, her creativity, her energy to actually create the life that she wants. In, in very creative ways from her own self, you know, from her own being, her own vision, her own ideas, and using her finances or any kind of resources to do so. As a result, doing this Aquarius is going to move you in, in new directions. Now, for those who are having children, obviously, this is going to take you down new adventures and avenues you never had done, take you in directions you haven't walked because this might be a new experience for you. But you guys are really trying to move your life in a way that's not the same old, same old. You recognize that there's aspects of your life that really you want new beginnings in some form. You want a new energy in some form. You want freshness, newness, and new opportunities. There are many ways to accomplish something, and this is what you guys are doing. You guys are going full force at the beginning. My energy is kind of calm, but you guys are going full force at the beginning of this week, giving it your all, drafting it. You guys are sleeping, eating, drinking, creating this new life. And as a result, you're creating opportunities, sudden shifts, synchronicities, op people just coming in and out because you're putting out this energy of creation and change. Whenever we not just visualize, not just affirm, but actually take action in the direction, build, create in some way, the very thing we wish to experience, the universe aligns. It works in our favor. And as a result, there's going to be a boom, 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 a lot of different shifts. The Wheel of Fortune is now you've set something in motion, Aquarius, that's going to allow for different opportunities, people's it kind of reminds me of different experiences that are all in alignment and it's going to move quite fast. This is all that was needed. Not just your, you know, agreement with something, but your participation in this change. And now, boom, everything is going to align. You have the two of coins. It's going to be a busy week, Aquarius. You're going to have a lot of things on your plate, a lot of things to kind of handle. But it's because you put a lot in and all of a sudden you're getting a lot out. You're going to recognize there's going to be a lot of deadlines or things to finish, accomplish. You might have to be in more than one place in one day, boom, boom, running around. But do your best to keep a sense of, of humor and gratitude because even though you're busy, you're busy with the things that you wanted. Remember when you're feeling overwhelmed, like, oh my God, a year ago, I wished for this. Six months ago, I prayed for this. Three months ago, I would have been so happy to be in this position. So don't lament, don't be negative, be happy with this busyness. There's a lot of different work and things to happen, but it's just right now, it's not, it's a finite amount of time, but it's all contributing to this new lifestyle, this change in direction that you've been feeding. Maybe you're up and moving. Maybe you decided to buy land and build your own house. Maybe before you were against it, now you're going to start a family and, and, you know, work from home and, and, or have your own business. There's going to be a huge change, not just in lifestyle, but in life itself, Aquarius. And this is going to create a lot of the hands-on work this week. Now we have the moon and the lovers. Now, 
understand that with change, as exciting as it can be, there can be a lot of fears and unconscious worries and things that want to come up. But understand that's natural. You can't have courage without fear, bravery without fear, faith without fear. Because you, you, when you think of like, oh my God, they did this, this, and that. It's not the absence of it. So Aquarius, as you're moving and creating this life, especially with those that you love, I, there's a lot of, of and we'll go to the next cards. So there's a, this is a lot about romantic partners, children, family, emotional um, harmony in your relationships. Don't be afraid of this next stage. You're putting in all this energy. When the moon comes up, it's not just your subconscious fears. It's your intuition. It's about an opportunity to face those old blocks, an opportunity to do something new and get out of your comfort zone to improve your plans. The moon is highly psychic and it offers an opportunity an opportunity to step into those realms that perhaps you wouldn't allow yourself to before. The lover's card, you're not doing this alone. You're not only are you doing this from a space of love and self-love, you're doing it with those whom you love and who love you back, Aquarius. This can be a husband, a wife, a romantic partner, your children, your family, but you're making choices from your heart, not just your mind, not just this overthinking, and you're just giving it your all without too much overanalyzation. So bravo to you, Aquarius, because I know that can be a bit of a challenge. As a result, the Ace of Wands, new opportunities, new avenues, new, when I say opportunities, yeah, it can be, be career, but it's not just that. It's opportunities to, to live a life of wonder, something you're passionate about. Ace of Wands can also be the card of movement. I think for so many of you, you are literally physically moving, not just in new directions, perhaps new locations or new kind of relationships, new kind of dynamics. But this is something that gives you the opportunity to do something amazing, something like you haven't done before. Maybe in the past you sabotaged it when I'm there, when I get this job, when I'm at this part of my life, I'll do this. Now you're just going for it because you recognize by just walking that everything else comes to you. The Three of Cups is the card of celebration and good news. I, I, I really do feel some Aquarians that they're really, they're going to be getting pregnant. The Three of Cups is about announcements, birth announcements, engagement announcements, marriage announcements, just happy celebratory announcements with your friends, your loved ones. It's a, it's a card of celebration. This is a wonderful week of creation, new direction, putting your energy in, love, family, and not being afraid here, Aquarius. I like to see this. I don't always see this for you guys because I do see where we're kind of <clears throat> visionary. You're very much of a visionary. But these are very intuitive cards. You're moving with what feels right. Then you end with the Ten of Cups. This is the happily ever after card. This is harmony in the home, the partner, the kids, the white picket fence, that card. And it's harmony and, and happiness and emotional security. I think on some level, you're recognizing here that what you put into something, you get out of it. You recognize there's not enough planning. There's not enough lining up your ducks that'll ever, ever guarantee happiness. But what you are willing to do this time around, Aquarius, is to take happiness when it presents itself and run with it. And I think this is brilliant because at the end of the day, we are spiritual, soulful beings. Our mind is at service to our heart. And this time, you're jumping. The theme of the week is the Four of Swords, which I think is good for you. They're saying, hey, this is all about moving forward, but moving forward from a place of clarity. They're saying, you're going to do this. The Four of Swords is sleep on it, meditate before making decisions, just relax your body. I think that's what really comes in with that moon card here because they're saying, look at a lot of the insights and the guidance is going to come through sleep and meditation. And the Four of Swords is not saying don't make decisions. It's saying, trust yourself, get into a space of peace and this is what I want, and then make your decision, not out of fear, but out of groundedness and contentment, making sure you're balanced this week, because there is going to be a busy week, Aquarius. But so make sure you do get that, tip, especially with that two of coins, there's going to be a lot of things going on, but I'm just so happy to see you being so intuitive, Aquarius, and being so loving and so about the heart and so about the harmony and the relationships and the love that you want, and not willing to allow your mind or your fears to sabotage it this time around. So take it with both hands, Aquarius. Have a beautiful week in love. Enjoy all the work that's going to go into it this week. If you like a more in-depth tarot session, a soul reading, a healing session, my links are down below. Otherwise, I will see you next week for next week's readings.